what is going on guys, Members Girl Cat back with a, another video and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different and I am going to be teaching you guys how to draw a puma. So this is going to be a little bit interesting but we're just going to hop right into it. So I don't know if you guys can see here, kind of hard to see, but on the paper I have made little two inch squares, so it's two inches each side of the square obviously and we have three different squares here it doesn't have to be perfect but three different squares on each row three rows nine squares in total so we're gonna be drawing a puma and I would definitely recommend having a nice sharp pencil this one right here is a 2H pencil that means it's very light and that's something I like to do so I can make a rough sketch almost of the outline of the puma and then we can start to get into the finer details. Anyway, let's begin. So, let's start here in like this middle circle. And about right here, let's begin to start the eye of the puma. And as you can see from like the eye, it's, it's a fairly decent size, I would say. Nothing too crazy though. So keep the eye a general size, and it's going to be going out a little bit further from here. So, you can see here, you have the eye. It's quite small in comparison, which is okay. Which is what we want. And we're going to be getting the line right here, which is going to be the, pu the puma's pupil. So you can see, it's going to be a fairly thin line, but we also want it to be kind of defined. And so this is the one eye right here. Like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go kind of like around the eye, especially the bottom area, because there's like an area right underneath the eye. It's a little bit darker. And it kind of like goes out almost from here. On the top, it's not that much though. We're gonna keep that kind of area a little bit more open. As you can see, there is an area above the eye that we just kind of have to darken a little bit right there. And then when we go over to the other eye, over here, I'm gonna move this over. So this eye is also going to be placed out a little bit further. So if we go like this, and the eyes aren't too sharp, I would say, like, they are more rounded, like an almond shape, almost. Like this, as you can see. Kind of an almond-ish shape. And we're just gonna kind of go around here, especially the bottom. It's almost like a line right here, like right underneath the eye right there. Then, this is like a dark area almost in, in here. So we're just going to kind of darken that in a little bit. And we're keeping this a very kind of rough sketch. So that way, when we get further, we're going to make changes to it. And honestly, just refine it better. So let's get the pupil. Which is about right there. On the eye. And if you guys need to pause at any time, please, please do so. That is a great idea, and also in these, I will probably be doing some time lapses, just so I don't have you guys bored with me speaking and commentating for probably four hours on how to do this. So we're going to get the area underneath the eye a little bit darker, so you can see, just like that. So now that's kind of like a rough area of the eyes. That's what the eyes are going to kind of be around in that area. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of show where the nose is going to be. So we're going to go down from here. And there's like this dark line almost. It's almost like a pattern on the puma. That actually almost shows us where the nose is going to be. So as you can see, it goes out a little bit further than what the nose is going to go out. So, as you can see, it's kind of wide, but it's going to be makeup for it when we go down over here. We're just going to be the nose 
of the Puma. I'm just going to erase a little bit of that line right there. So the nose is going to be about right in the middle. So this is about the middle of the page, as you can see. So we're just going to have a little slit. This is like a slit on the bottom of their nose. And then we're going to get like this. It's, it's almost like a curve almost right here. So as you can see, it's almost like two different parts. Just small little curves there. And then from there, we're going to curve it like so. And this is also going to curve out. Then here we have an area where it's going to go like this. It almost goes out and then goes back up like that. And then when we go to the top, it's going to start curving up. But then it's going to start going down, but only slightly. So about like this is what we want for the nose. About this shape. Maybe you can make it curve a little bit more in. Not too much. There's going to be a lot of refining and stuff in this video. So just follow along as best as you can. So we're just going to kind of add a little bit of shading in here. Because this area is definitely going to be a little bit darker. But what's mostly going to be dark in this is underneath the nose and the nostril, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if it is there's a technical name for that. It's going to be really dark right there, right in the nostril kind of area. And then around it as well. It's going to be quite dark. So we're just going to kind of shade a little bit in that area. All right. We're going to go down as well. Because in here it is also quite dark. This little line right there is also very dark. So you can see here, we've kind of got this darkness coming on right here. Underneath it. And then we're just going to make it go down a little bit further. Because this is where the mouth is going to begin. So, we have this. And the mouth gonna go like this and then we also have the cheek which is gonna be coming up around this area and that so that's the cheeks this one over here doesn't go as far out it's gonna go like that and then be done there so as you can see, we've got the mouth kind of area coming along. Now we're going to do the chin. And remember, if I'm going too fast for you guys, be sure to just pause the video and catch up. So we're going to go down. Like so. And back up. Looks like that is kind of what we've got for the chin. very small area and it's very very white so as we get further through you're gonna see that this area is very white compared to the rest of the puma where it's much darker all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go kind of near the eye area but we're gonna go out a little bit further so about right here-ish is where we're going to have the outside of the puma. But what I want to do is let's go up to this top box right here. And we're going to start doing like the top of the head. So it only goes about halfway through this box. We're just going to go up and then start making its way down like that. That's kind of what we've got. And we're going to have it keep going down, making its way down, continue. And I know this is going to look a little weird, just because, what, where are the ears? We're going to get to that, but we're just going to be following this kind of pattern. So here you can see it's going to be starting to go in a little bit. 
because this is where like the neck area is on the puma and then it's going to start to go back out when we get to the body so obviously it looks a little weird right now but that is going to change so let's get this ear done so it's about right here where the ear is going to start and it kind of curves up just slightly and the tip of the ear is going to be curved it's not going to be a pointed ear it's going to be quite curved so keep that in mind and then it's just going to kind of fold back up almost I'm adding this line right here because the ear itself, it does have some fur that's going to be coming out of it, right in here. We'll, we'll work on that later, because so right now we're just kind of getting the defining details of the puma ready. Alright. Now, we're going to do the outline first of the puma here again. But we're only going to go about this far. So we're going to do the ear on this one. Because in this one, the ear is more so connecting to the head. Obviously, both ears are connected to the head. But you'll see what I mean. So this one, it's going to be going up. Like that. And it's got almost like a little bump here. It's very slight, but a little bump right there. And then when we get to the top of it, it's going to curve. And this is where we see the fur, which is going to be coming out from here. And right here, this is the line where it really connects the parts. So we have like the ears connecting over there because this ear is for facing more out, whereas this one is facing back further. So as we continue, we're going to be following a similar shape pattern, let's say. And then we're going to go, we're going to start going in here, just to connect the face, as you can see. And then back here, we're going to continue it, going down, and then stop about right there. So this is kind of a rough construction of what we have for the puma. So you have the outline currently, and we're going to start doing a little bit more of the details. So I'm still going to be doing this with my light pencil. So that way, as I continue, it's going to be more refined and more refined as we go along. So, let's go back to the eyes. So, in the eyes, around the eyes, there are some areas which are a little bit lighter. So, we definitely want to pronounce those. So, if we go about here, I'm actually going to be erasing some of the lines. As we go along... You're going to be re erasing these construction lines or the lines that you made for the two inch squares. And I generally do this as I go along, so that way it doesn't get in my way as I continue. As I get further, it's going to be more and more difficult to get rid of them as I'm refining it more and more. So if you erased anything, make sure to draw it back. But we've got this area, so like right over this black spot back here. It's very white. It's just a small area, but it's an area that's pretty white, and it should definitely be just added there. So we're going to make sure that in this little area right here, we're not going to be doing much shading, so that way it stays white and pronounced. Next to it, though, we have an area that is much darker. So we're just going to kind of get that in here. And as you can see, I'm kind of doing it in a certain pattern. Like the fur, I'm having it move towards this way. 
I'm going to be doing it so the fur matches the direction of the fur on the puma. So over here, the fur is going to start to go out this way. And pumas, really, they have like shorter furs. We're going to be making small little changes as we go along. So I'm just going to make little tiny marks here. All right. So there's this like white area right here as well, right above the eye which ends about there. So you can kind of see that there are some white areas and these areas are very important. So they can really show you what the puma actually looks like. Then we also have an area like right here. All right, underneath the eye here. So there's another spot that's kind of dark. Goes right about here. It's just a little area that is dark and it goes straight down practically. And then over here, it's a little bit thicker of a line. We're just gonna go down. Which this is the area where you really get to see that this is the nose. So the nose is coming in right here. So let's erase this line here because we have something to add over in this area. All right, I'm gonna add back my construction here. But from here, these areas almost connect. So the fur here is making its way up and this makes its way right here. They almost connect, but they don't connect. They're like dark spots that make their way closer to each other. So I'm gonna make a little bit of an adjustment to it. So I'm gonna be adding some fur, which really when you're making the fur, for the most part, you're just gonna be making very small strokes in the direction that you want the fur to go. Over here, we're gonna have strokes. And I generally make the strokes bigger as it starts to get towards darker areas, especially in this area down here. So in this area, it's much, much darker because we're in the area about where the whiskers are. And this area is going to be much more pronounced and have a lot more shadows to it. So we're going to have it go out a little bit. And out a little bit. So the shadow areas, these really are lining up to where we have the little dots, which are going to be added later, which is when we're going to add the whiskers. We're just going to add those here. Again, this is a very dark area. It's a very, very important to add this. And right now, it's not that dark. And we're going to be making it a lot darker later as we get further in and have more things finished. All right. So you can see it's almost like stripes in a way. It's like stripes that kind of go out. And, out, and we'll see how that changes it in a bit. But then we also have a nice white area here. So right underneath this very thick shadow on the nose, we're just gonna go out from there. And it goes about right here. It just kind of goes like that. That's basically the shadow area. Or where it's gonna be nice and light, I mean be nice and light in this area and same thing on the other side so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut us into time-lapse here quickly and I'm going to be doing the right side of the puma and we'll be back and remember to pause the video if at any time you just are completely lost
Alright guys, so now we are back, and I did just a little bit on the eyes here and everything else. Hopefully you were able to follow along well enough. Remember, you can always slow down the video as well. Need be. Alright. So now we have the areas above the eyes where we've indicated where it is white. We've also added here something. And also you can tell on this side, it's not as dark. So you can tell there's much more shadows on this side. And that's basically, that's how I want it. Uh, obviously all pictures are going to be different of pumas and also different species and stuff. Alright, so let us move over here to the nose. So one thing I noticed was that the shadows kind of did make their way over to the nose, but it wasn't super, it wasn't very dark. They just made their way over to the nose and were connected just here. And there's also like a light area just like slightly above the nose, it's just a little bit light. But something I do want to do is we're going to accentuate the top of the nose here, just by adding a darker line on top of it. So we know where the top of the nose is. It is also darker in pictures as well. All right, it goes out like this. That's how the fur goes, like that. We're just going to make like a little bit of fur, just like on the top edge here. It's very, very small. The fur is going to be very small, so you can't just like go like this. You can't just rub like that. You really have to make small strokes in order to get the correct look on the puma. So we're going to make small little strokes as we go up. It's going to be a little bit darker in here, in this area. We're going to go up a little bit, right here. Alright. Hopefully you guys are doing well. You know, as you can see, we've got the little bit of fur right there. And we're going to be making our way now to this area. So we're going to actually start over here. So it makes a little bit more sense. So the fur starts to just go out. As you can tell. And almost like the fur, like it almost goes out here. Like I noticed that. The nose almost goes out a little bit further. Like the snout. I don't know. The snout. And we got that right there. There we go. So now you can see that it's kind of connecting there. We've got the two parts connected to the nose. And this is kind of the area, the area closest to the nose is the part that's going to be the darkest. And as we get up from the nose, if you guys can't see, it's going to be getting lighter. And we have this area just like right here. It's almost like a little bit of shine per se just from like light from one direction. But we're gonna go up to make small light strokes, just light enough so that you can see them and identify them. Cause these are definitely gonna be helping you in the future because as you get further on, we're gonna be changing our pencil and it, it'll be much darker. And if you don't have any lighter pencil if you only have just a regular HB pencil, that's totally fine. You can totally still do this. I just use a different pencil, which is, this is a 2H, so I can make lighter strokes. And it's just a little bit nicer because I can do more refining. But if you don't have that, regular HB pencil works perfectly well, 100% well. You can definitely use it. You can just make small light strokes 
and just make everything light. Even the areas that are supposed to be dark, you can make it a little bit darker, but don't make it too dark. And I say that because we might change things or we might have to erase a little bit. It really just depends. We're just going as we go, getting a feel for it. And this is definitely a long process, but we make our way up further up the nose, the snout. So you can see, it's definitely a long process, but it's gonna be worth it because as we get further and further, you're gonna see that the small strokes, the texture of it really starts to show and it makes the drawing much, much better. So much better. And you'll see once we finish it, that it's gonna be so much nicer. So, right in here about right there it starts to get darker and we start to go as we start to go up it's gonna have like a little bit of a pattern almost we're not quite there yet but we're getting there it's a process guys it's a process indeed and you know i think i'm going to speed this up a little bit just so you guys don't have to go through all the trouble of seeing me do this, so we're gonna do that. guys so we are back and we did quite a bit of work so not only did I do the area on the nose but I also got the areas around the nose and up here and as you can see when we got up further you can see it got a little bit darker in this area so there was almost like a stripe that goes all the way up through here and you can see it's a darker up here as well it's a little pattern just on the puma itself and then also here it's dark we kept these white areas nice and white. We also added a couple white areas, so there's one right here. There's another that's right about here. And then on the sides, there's one right here, one right there, one right underneath that, and then up here. And then also on the ears, I added some white spots. So there's one just right here. It's almost like on the edge of the ear itself, r right when it changes between the outer ear and the inner ear. I don't know the technical term for it, but that's basically what it's like. So we've got this now, and it's a little bit darker on this side as well. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the ears, and we're going to see how this works out. So I noticed that obviously the back of the ears are going to be very dark, much darker than the other parts. So we're going to make sure that we make it dark enough. If you look here, there's almost like a darker stripe or area in the middle especially it's going to be darker than on the outside and remember we're not going to be going into this white area because that's going to be an area where we really see the contrast and you're also on like the just edge just a bare edge of it we're also going to have a little white area so we can see the difference and have like the light shining on the ear but you can see that this is much darker it's definitely going to be one of the darker areas along with underneath the nose and stuff like that. So just make sure to make the fur nice and short. Don't make it too long. And take time with the process. Take your time. Pause the video if you need it. But here, this is about what the dark area is going to look like. So we've got like the short little fur going here. And so when we go over here, we're going to start making it lighter. 
I like to do the dark areas and just kind of like make my way out. So we're going to start to get lighter as we go out here. We're going to just keep on getting lighter. And there's just like a little bit of brightness right in here. So we're just going to have that there, but as you can see, it gets lighter. Like that. So you can see it kind of like goes into the darkness. Seems so evil. Get into the darkness. But then what we're going to do is from here, we're going to make it go out of the darkness. So, we're going to start getting lighter. And remember the edge here, we want to make sure it's nice and bright. So we're going to keep it nice and white over there for the most part. And when we go back, we're going to be probably adding maybe a little bit to that area, but we're just going to keep it nice and white just on the edge of it. And maybe we'll just add like a little bit of fur for our outside line, as you can tell. That is fur. But as you can see here, this is about what it's going to look like. And so on the edge here of the white, we're just going to add a little bit of fur just to indicate that it is an area with fur. It's just very light fur. And then here we have where the outer, outer, inner, I don't know, the ear, the part where you can really see all the fur. So we're going to go out, and the fur just kind of like comes out from there. And it starts dark, but it gets much lighter as it goes on. So we're going to get a little bit like up here too, just very light. As you can see, it starts to get darker, or not darker, lighter. As we go out, you can really tell if you keep it dark, much darker on the inside and then just gradually make it lighter, you can really tell. Right there. So just have the fur going out and it's kind of curving up a little bit. Just out and up for the most part. That's how the fur goes in there. So it just kind of comes out in that way like that. So that's the one ear. Now we have the other ear. So this ear, it's definitely facing in a different direction, but we are going to work with that. So the side is going to be much darker, of course. So we're going to start that. It's getting the darkness. And in this one, the light isn't going to be on it completely. So there's still going to be a white spot here. But on the edge, it's not going to be very white. It's just going to be dark, and then it's going to start to get lighter as we get in further. And the direction of the fur is mainly going to be this way. So we're going to try to keep that consistent. It's very important to keep the direction of the fur consistent, because that way it really adds to the texture of the photo as we get further. So we're going to be going out. As we continue, remember to keep it a little dark. Obviously with my pencil, it's not gonna be too dark, but I will go back and we will make it much darker. All right, so now we're gonna start making it lighter. Just up in there. Remember I have this white area right here. So there's like a little area underneath the white area. So I'm going to make that a little bit darker. Then when we get to the white area, I'm just going to add a little bit of fur on the outside so you can tell it's a white area. You can see? Just a little area of like shine almost. It's nice and light. Alright, so now that we got this, we got this area for the dark part, we're going to be doing the light part. So on this part of the ear, it's going to be mainly just white on the outside. So something I want to do is I want to erase this construction line here. just want to erase that thing. Because the fur itself is going to be going out further than what we had put. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do the outside of it. So the fur kind of goes like this. It's very close to it. And it's going to start to go out.
kind of tell. It goes out like that. It's going to be very light fur. Very, very white. In comparison to everything else. So we want to make sure we capture that. I'm going to do this line here and I'm going to make it quite light. But I'm also going to add some like fur, just a little bit, just to indicate that there is fur in here. It's just very white. So you can see, kind of get that white kind of look very light compared to everything else. You can see that goes out like that. Alright, so now we got the ears done. I want to make my way down again to the snout area. We have a lot to do in this area. So, as you can see, we did like the little lines here and everything. But we didn't do much else besides that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add like the little spots for where the whiskers are going to be. These are going to be pretty small dots and as we go further towards the snout it's gonna become lighter So just make them very dark at the edge and then make them lighter and they're gonna be following like that little trail that we had before so it's not that many but as you can see there's some and this area right here does have fur it's very light fur it's quite light I'm actually going to make this area right here a little bit darker just to make a comparison, but in here, the fur is much lighter. It's going to be facing in like this direction and also kind of as it goes up, it's going to be facing a little bit more to the northwest, I think. Something like that. We're just going to be adding the fur in here. Very small fur, short strokes. Nothing too special. The fur isn't going to be extraordinarily dark in here so we just want to leave it like that just nice and light you can see it helps adding that does help a little bit I'm actually gonna make a little bit darker here all right there we go so we got that as the one side of it, right there. So that's one side. Another thing that we want to do to this side, as you see, it's really dark in this area. So we really want to pronounce that because it gets really dark and then just instantly white right there. But we also want to show that in the fur and how it gradually gets lighter. We're just going to do that. Just make it a little bit darker there and then make it lighter. Like that. Pretty much that part. Now let's do the other side. So it's going to be pretty similar. We have the dots. Remember to make them nice and dark on the outside as it goes in. Lighter. And don't make the dots very big. They're not going to be extraordinarily big in comparison, so don't make them too big, just make them pretty small and general size. And we also have the fur here, just going to be facing up and out, as you might expect. Just make sure the fur in here is quite light, and then we'll make it changes to make it darker later. See, right now, what we're doing is we're doing the shading but we're also making it quite light that way we can have lighter areas stay very light and later on we can add to darker areas which will make the shadows and everything more pronounced and make the picture look so much 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 better all right there we go As you can see, nice there. The area around here is quite dark, so I'm going to get that a little bit better. And then right here, we still have the fur that's kind of coming out, but we did pretty well here, but just going to make sure that it transitions well into that. And there we go. 
that is kind of the snout area, which I would say that looks pretty nice, looks pretty good. And in here, it's going to be quite light. There's not going to be much going on in here. I do want to make the edges of it a little bit softer. Just a little bit. So that way, can't really see the line. Well, now that we got this, I might actually erase the line itself, actually. It might help a little bit if I just erase that line. So we add the line just to get like a idea of where the white spot needs to be. So we can go off of that. Just adding the fur here without the line makes it a little bit nicer. Still an indication of it, but it helps. All right, so now we're going down. So here, the fur here, really dark, and it just starts making its way down right here. It's very small in this area, nice and dark. And as we go out, just gonna follow this. It's gonna be like light little strokes of fur coming from there. Some little furs. So we can see that's nice and soft there, but very small strokes, very light as well. Following that. Then we also have right here, so the chin area. I noticed that on a lot of big cats. Just like this top area of the chin is very dark and then everything else is quite white. So we're going to try to get that. It's very dark in here. And then as it goes out, it's going to start to get lighter. And you really need to see like each of the strokes. That really helps. It adds a lot to the picture. It makes it really realistic when you add the singular strokes. Really helps. I'm just gonna follow underneath here. All right, like that. So you can see how it gets like really dark in there, but then it just makes its way out and it's much lighter. I'm also gonna just add like a little bit on the outside here, so we can tell it's fur. But other than that, not much, because the chin is very white. Very, very light. So you can see, it adds a little bit more to the picture. Definitely adds to it. So now we have the sides of the face, and then we also have the body. So on the sides of the face here, I'm actually like going into the eye area almost. So remember, this is a very dark area in here. This area is much lighter. Remember, we have this white spot right here, which we're not going to be drawing in. We want to make sure of that and keep it consistent and similar to most pumas. We're just going to be going around the white spot. That's our main focus, is getting around the white spot. And the fur around here is mostly light. But I do want to do a little bit with the eyes here. So you know we have this dark spot. Over here it gets a little bit, the fur is a little bit darker. Not insanely dark, it's just a little bit darker here. It would be nice to add that in there. And then it's also on this side as well. It's a little bit darker and it like, it almost curves down. Not really the direction of the strokes, just the pattern itself just curves down like that. And then it follows that. And we'll just continue 
drawing in a similar pattern. Making sure to not draw in the white spots and just making small little strokes for each one of these. Alright, I get there. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and jump into time lapse and we're going to get these sides of the face finished. And yeah, we're going to work on that. So enjoy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we did a lot in that time lapse. We basically shaded the whole entire Puma and what we need to shade of it. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to be starting to get even more shading in. So as you can see, my 2B pencil, or not the 2B, 2H right here. We're going to replace it right here. And let us use, I'm going to use my HB pencil. So, just basically just a regular pencil. It's a happy birthday pencil. But, with this, we're just going to go back. And we're going to go to areas that are much darker. And we're definitely going to work on making them even darker. And this is really what's going to make the image itself pop. So, we've got this now, and what we're going to do is we're going to start doing the whiskers, which is the scariest part, because they can be difficult to do. So what I'm going to do is with my 2H pencil, I'm just going to kind of show in where they're supposed to be. Like that. You can see that they kind of go up. But they also kind of go out as well. And down even. And we have the ones over here. Which are going to go up. And down. Many different directions. I'm doing this very lightly. With my 2H pencil. See, like that. So we have two different options. You can decide either to just leave the whiskers like that, or you can get a really sharp edged of a eraser and just try to erase. A little bit, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to make it dark at the edge and then lighter out here. Just make it so you can really see the whisker itself. This goes down. So I'm just 
going to do that. Try to show whiskers off like that. And you don't have to do them super particular. You don't have to make them exactly like mine. Just make the whiskers the way you want them. Some of them go out further. As they go down, they're going to be leaning down mostly. You can see. Nice long whiskers like that. Not too long, but you can see them like that. I'm doing this with a light pencil because whiskers are quite light. They're not very dark or whatever, you might think. Whiskers on a puma, they are definitely white, quite light. So we want to show that, but we still want them to show. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're making them light, but also showing them. As you can see, like that. So, now the last part, really just to get a black colored pencil. Any colored pencil works, I just have a Crayola black colored pencil. We're just going to go back into those really dark areas. We're just going to make them nice and dark. So we're going to go ahead and go into time lapse for the last time. And we're going to make these areas that are really dark, very dark, to get the most contrast possible. And then once we do that, we're done. You have finished making a puma. Y'all ready? Let's go. done with the puma and it has been quite wow it's been a lot of work but I think it has definitely paid off in the end as you can see I can like never stop but I gotta set that pencil down yes I hope you guys did enjoy this video learning how to draw a puma I definitely hope it helped you guys and that you were able to actually make a nice puma and definitely definitely guys um, send me pictures of the puma that you guys made. So that would be super awesome to see what kind of uh, drawings you guys made. And as I make more of these videos, maybe I can see even more improvement as all of us continue to make more of these drawings. We'll all improve as we go on. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe. And let your friends know if you like this video. Definitely tell them about it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye bye.